Hi there, Toy here, and it's time to see what I read in the month of January. So I am, you know, sticking with my Goodreads challenge for 2018, my goal of trying to read 60 books, and I am into the month of February and there's a lot going on so if you miss what I did at the beginning of the year in January this is kind of a catch up for that and a wrap up for January so my goal for the year is to read 60 titles in the in the year 2018 because not all of those titles will be novel length books which I'm going to talk about that in just a second because of what I'm doing special in the month of February so far with my Goodreads challenge, I have read 13 of 60 titles, which is 22% of my overall Goodreads challenge. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself because it's only mid-February. So right now, I'm just going to kind of recap what I actually read in the month of January. So in the month of January, I read read Flaming Crimes, Disaster Crimes number four, by Chris Fay, and that one I ended up giving a five. Um, it's a romantic suspense series that I've really been enjoying, and I look forward to more of it. Um, I also read The Weekend Novelist, and if you don't know, I am a member of the Insecure Writer Support Group Book Club. Insecure Writer Support Group is a writer's blogging community. We post our blogs once a month, but also created this book club that's kind of off to the side and anyone can be a part of the book club you can be a reader a writer a blogger or whatever and if you're interested in writing it's a really great book club because one month we'll read something non-fiction about the craft of writing and then two months later we'll read something fiction and so in January we've actually read a writing book and I ended up giving the weekend novelist a four and again, for those of you who don't know, if you're interested in seeing any of my reviews, please check the link below and it'll take you to all of my reviews where you can see in detail what I thought about each book. Next, I read The Abduction of Rupert DeVille in the month of January. That is a kind of a, of a mystery type book. There's that's a very British dark humor kind of book. I ended up giving it a five. I thought it was very entertaining, uh, not for all audiences. So if you're interested, please check out that review first. And then I read Winter Lunar Chronicles number four by Mar Marissa Meyer. This is a young adult sci-fi series, a retelling, fairy tale retelling that I've been thoroughly enjoying. If you know anything about me, I don't always get into young adult fiction, but this one, for some reason, I just, I, I love it so much. And feel like it's a very fairly popular series but of course I'm sure they have their haters everybody has haters but I just love it so much that if there are any flaws to the story I don't see them so that's the same to go with um, winter that is the official ending of the Lunar Chronicles series but if you are following the series or M Marissa Meyer at all you know that it's really not the end she has done a spin-off graphic novel series that I'll be talking about a little bit more later. So that is everything that I actually read in the month of January. Now, it is February, and if you saw any of my previous videos, you know that I am doing a graphic novel readathon for the whole month of February. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about it now. I'll save it for the wrap up. But so far, I've read seven of my graphic novel titles out of about 25. So um, I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm not moving at the pace that I was hoping. So I may not get to all 25 titles. We'll see. But regardless, I'm really enjoying you know, everything that I've read so far. Now, given that I am doing the graphic novel readathon for the whole month of February, I'm still squeezing in some books and the reason here's the reason why I'm not taking away from any time that I'm spending actually reading the graphic novels but because I have a pretty long commute to work I've been using the text to speech feature on some of my Kindle books and I do that all the time but typically what is happening is I'm reading the book you know at home and listening to it in the car on the way to work whereas 
this month it's been really difficult because I've only been using that text of feet text to speech feature for those books because I've been focusing so much on any time that I'm not focusing on driving to actually reading the graphic novels. So these books that I'm listening to right now, it's a little bit harder for me to kind of follow the stories because I don't have that visual reference of being able to read the words on the pages, but it is what it is. So I'm currently reading Stars Above. Well, no, no, actually I just finished stars above luna chronicles number four but i finished that in february so i'll talk more about that later give you the rating and all that in the february wrap up i'm also reading rise of the sea witch unfortunate souls chronicles one that's by stacy rourke you know she's one of my favorites so that's something else that i'm kind of listening to in the commute to work so and i'm also reading lord of the flies and that is the book that the iwsg book club is reading for the months of February, March. We are focusing on symbolism this time around. So that is the book that we voted on to read for symbolism. So that's everything that I'm currently reading and what I'm hoping to read next. And I say hope because things always change. After I complete my graphic novel readathon and finish the, you know, the books that I'm listening to, hopefully I'll be able to start Guns Above. And I've been really looking forward to reading that for a while. I'm also hoping to read Dragon's Destiny. And here's what's so great about this. If you saw my 2017 wrap up, you know that the number one book that I read that year was Dragon of the Stars by Alex J. Kavanaugh. As a fan, um, reached out to him and told him, you know, that I love the book. And he has a fan exclusive kind of additional story in that whole realm that he sent to me and I can't wait to read it. I've been so busy with a bunch of other things, but as soon as I'm done with this graphic novel readathon, I'm totally gonna read that because I love Dragon of the Stars. So I'm excited to read Dragon's Destiny. And I got my first arc of the year. So, you know, I can't talk too much about it, but I'm so excited to be reading Entombed and Glass. That is the Unfortunate Souls number two by Stacey Rourke. I'm reading number one right now because I kept putting it off. I wanted to read it before reading this, even though I don't think the stories are connected. Regardless, I will be reading and reviewing Entombed and Glass in the month of March. And I'll tell you more about that later, but that is my first arc of the year and I'm so excited. So that is my January wrap up. That is my reading challenge update. Uh, I'd love to know if you're doing a reading challenge this year, things that you are or aren't reading. Are you trying the graphic novel readathon? Either way, let me know. I'd love to, uh, you know, hear your comments below. And that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.